have my goodness, I trust you with my company. You can't even compete with simple calls. It's not like they don't even try, Dad. Try. You call that trying. Forget it. Take it. I knew you couldn't make it. This is not what I want. All I wanted, all I needed, was for you to understand what I'm going through. I'm so, so sorry. Annabelle? Jess, please don't tell me you work here. Yeah, I do. Don't tell me your dad works here too. Yeah, he kind of owns the whole company. What? Why is everything so coincidental? Tell me about it. Anyway, where are you rushing off to? My manager just pushed one of my deadlines from next week to this week. So, yeah, I'm used to it. Enough about me. How are you coping? No more night school stress, I guess. Yeah, I've just been at home thinking about what to do next. Well, I'm really sorry for quitting and leaving you and Mai with all that work. The nice school thing just really isn't for me. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll manage. That's great. Anyway, let's meet up again sometime. I don't know. Whenever you're free? Of course. See you. Now, I've done up a few PowerPoint slides to get us started off, but you guys feel free to give me your input as well. Okay, it all sounds good. Chelsea, anything for you? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Just give me a moment. Hello? Oh hey girl! Of course I had time to talk. She did what? I guess it's just the both of us now. I actually, you know what? For the presentation, that is something that I thought would be... I could try to... Chelsea, do you mind? <sighs> Actually, I do. It's Pilates hour. How else do you think I keep up with this amazing bot of mine, huh? Alright, but can you at least just kind of keep it down? Fine, I'll just do silent Pilates then. Okay, so I think that is a good idea, but maybe we could try it. And this. then this guy called Tim got khaki in class, and eventually he got kicked out of night school. Hey, Ch Chelsea, we really need to get started. Oh, of course. Carry on. Don't mind me. And then, this Tim. Ah, where is he? That's it, he'll be home by five and it's already... six. Yes. Anything more, and you'll be past your curfew. Yeah, but I haven't had curfew since I was like 12. Aaron, you were 12 this year? No, I'm 18. Anyway, let's just do this another day. I'm Got no mood. Hey! Sorry I'm late! <sighs> okay, just let me get changed and we'll start, alright? Dad, how are you always this late? You're an hour late. I'm sorry, I just got caught up with a meeting. But hey, if I was in Sydney, I'd be an hour early, right? No, Sydney is two hours ahead of us. Really? Oh, that doesn't matter. You just give me five minutes, okay? I can't believe he's gonna make us wait again. Grandpa? Grandpa! Oh. Sorry, Cameron. It passed my big time. Yeah, well, let's just wait for Dad. Oh, where is Dad? Dad! Oh! Oh, I'm coming. Whatever, yeah. just come on now. Yeah, just give me a minute. Dad! Dad! Oh boy, isn't this awkward? <laughs> At my age, I tend to enjoy the silence. Um, well, since we don't know much about each other, why don't we try out some icebreakers, alright? I got a couple of great games no. at- don't even think about it. Anyways, this is not conducive at all. We should head back home, do our own individual parts, meet back on the presentation day itself to compile it. Well, I guess that sounds good. Alright, see you guys then. Uh, but... <laughs> oh, hello. Are you two from the night class? Oh yes, uh, and you are? I'm Miss City, the school's principal. What are you doing in school on the weekend? Oh, Mr. Dan told us that it will be more productive to do work in school. That's not true. Do not be fooled by that man. He just won't save money on transport. Wait, he, he lives in the school? Yes, for the past 10 years. Anyways, I've got to go. I do not want to be in school on a Sunday. Get home safe. 
Shall we get on with the icebreakers? Oh, really? You guys are the best! Oh, okay, so I've got uh, Potato Pirates. I've got uh, Monopoly. Every dog's favourite game, Bingo! <laughs> because Bingo was his name. I think at least for this part, we could try to move this over to this part and just... Sorry, it's my wife. Wish me luck. Hello? What did I pick up? Are you inviting me again? I was taking a dump. That's why I couldn't pick up my phone. Yeah. Oh really? Show me the dump then. Huh? What? Yeah, show it to me. Show it to me. Right now. I, I flushed it. I, I flushed it down. Lies. You never had a habit of flushing the toilet. You probably are in your friend's house. Which woman's house are you in? No, I, I, I swear. I'm doing work, okay? I'll just, I, I will just see you at home, okay? You and I are gonna have a serious talk when you get home. Okay, yeah, goodbye. Okay, I love <clears throat> Hey Jack, not my place to say, but can't let her talk to you like that. You've got to control the situation. Let her know you're the man of the house. I know. It, it, it sounds and looks bad, but honestly, it's just crazy sometimes. Whatever it is, you can't let her step over your head like that. You've got to call her now and remind her that you put food on the table, that you put a roof over her head and that you're the one that should be in charge. Yeah, call her now! Now! You're right. I'm the man. I'm going to call her now and let her know who's in charge. That's right, you're the man. Hey, honey! Yeah, about just now. Yeah, I don't really like the attitude and, of course, the way that you've been talking to me just now and recently. So, we really need to talk about this. Mm-hmm. Alright. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright. Bye. So, how did you go? Yeah, I'm gonna need a place to stay tonight. How about we choose a topic to talk about? Sounds good. Maybe something about the family? Oh, yes, yes. Family. Love family. I was thinking more along the lines of maybe our jobs. Oh, yes, yes. Jobs are awesome. Can't have a family if you don't have a job, right? Why not we compromise and talk about our daughters, right, Zoe? Love daughters. I'm gonna have one someday. Hmm. Then maybe we should start dancing in our presentation, huh? Sounds amazing. Gotta start dancing. Dancing is good. Gotta get the blood flowing. Maybe a magic show after that with a bunch of elephants? That sounds amazing! Gotta get those elephants into the mix! Even listening to us? So I was thinking, right? Since we are going to talk about our families and our jobs and do a magic show, why don't we incorporate all of it into a baby elephant magic show where we talk about our families and our jobs? How does that even work? It says here that we should come up with a presentation that can be about anything so long as it utilizes what we've learned so far. Huh. Any suggestions? Son? How about we talk about global warming? Oh, we don't know enough about that. Okay, how about how to be an influencer? A what? Never mind. Maybe we can talk about like types of students in a school. Who would want to see that? Okay, Dad, if you think all of my suggestions are bad, how about you try to come up with something yourself? Oh, hey, it's not like that. I just want us to have a good presentation. Whatever. The topic doesn't matter at the end of the day. It doesn't matter to me. And if you really wanted to do well, you would have been home earlier. Come on, Cam. Show me a bone here. You don't have to work late. How else do I put food on the table? You should really learn to appreciate me a bit more. Appreciate you? It's not like you appreciate Grandpa. How can you say that after all I've done to provide for you? Provide? Provide what? Absence? Oh. I had it with both of you. Constantly bickering, fighting, and never wanting to get along. The only reason why I attend the night class was to spend more time with you so as be possible, we get closer before regretting not doing so. But it seems like both of you refuse to change and refuse to get along. I'm giving. I can no longer stay in a place where a family is not a family. That's not what a home is. And until both of you realise that, 
You were missing me. I'm going to bed. Let's just forget about this assignment. Cam, but... What are we gonna do about this portion of the presentation? Well, actually, we can just use the presentation I've already prepared for us. What? Yeah, I already did it a few days ago. I didn't tell you guys because I didn't want you guys to feel like I was doing too much. Why would we think that? Uh, let's see what you've prepared so far. Well, it's nothing much. Just a short presentation about our lives and how we got here. This is amazing. <laughs> It's alright, I guess. Nothing compared to my usual presentations. I have a few guest speakers lined up if you guys want. Oh, no, 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 no. This is enough. How oh, are you so good at this? I've been doing presentations like these for the last 20 years of my life. So, I guess I'm pretty good at it. Oh my god, thank you so much. We're gonna do so well for our presentation. This calls for a celebration. Let me just get the cookies out from the oven. I'm gonna call my wife now. She. Very. I can't remember the last time Vicky and I took a photo together. Oh my god, you poor thing. I'm sure if you try your best, one day, it'll all be worth it. I really hope so. Cookie, it's vegan. Eh, why not, right? Whoa. What do you put in these cookies? Is this some side effect? Oh! Oh! oh you're, you're, you're choking! Uh, oh, cr oh crap, oh crap! Uh, I've only tried this once but it didn't really work but here goes nothing! Mom? Wh what's going on? Dad, what do you think you're doing? It's not what you think! 